kind of sit down inside the freezer. And it was almost like he pulled himself into it, into his body, like he was curling up in a really tight position. I don't know if you've ever seen a dog or a cat that's asleep in the cold, but they actually roll themselves up in almost a ball and pull in all their their legs and arms and and they become quite small. And and it was amazing to see because this thing was, you know, four feet tall when it was standing from head to toe. And to, to see this literally wind up itself into something that looked like it was about two, uh, two feet in diameter was really amazing to see. And I mean, it had bones and it had arms and legs that were, you know, solid. So it wasn't like it was a, uh, it wasn't like a reptile or a snake. It was a solid, you know, biped, but yet it was able to curl up in this tight little, little package, and it was really amazing to see. All right, the last 13 years, what, if somebody was to ask you, you know, if you were to sit down and think out loud about the last 13 years of your life, what would you say concerning this encounter? everything related to it, what would be at the top of your list and you know as you went down the line. What would you have to say about the last 13 years of your life? Well I'd have to first say that <clears throat> it changed all of my my own issues regarding uh, issues to do with spirituality. Um, humanity and that we are much more than just uh, the sum of our own elements, our own organs in the body that we inhabit. I think I would have to say that <clears throat> I learned that things aren't what I was always taught they were that there is a great deal more to life than what meets the eye, what I was raised to believe. On a greater note, <clears throat> one of the things I learned is that we live in an isolation of information. We're very limited to the scope of, of knowledge, not only about extraterrestrial or extra-dimensional life, but I think about a lot of things and perceptions that are kept from us of the world, uh, uh, the true world activities that go on I don't think are necessarily publicized or brought out clearly to the public. Um, I think I, I would have to say that I'm disappointed in mankind for not evolving to this revelation of, of the idea uh, and the facts that surround this uh, that we have been visited for a long time, a great long time, by intelligent uh, beings. Um, I think this knowledge is is something that we've been waiting for for a long time but maybe afraid to embrace uh, from many standpoints including the religious dogma that has lent itself to the backbone of humanity that we have been forced in some respects to believe a certain way otherwise it was blasphemous or evil to think outside the box. Um, I know now that a lot of these issues have nothing to do with evil. They just have to do with knowledge that, that we were literally kept from. 
kept from understanding this knowledge. Um, the last 13 years have been difficult for me. It changed my entire world. It changed my life. It changed my occupation and my friends and my family. And I became entrenched in somewhat of an emotional war between those who wanted to suppress my information and those who wanted me to continue to speak. I think that it's an example that we can look at and, and understand that not always not always is it best to come forward with information unless you're prepared for the outcome because there is an action and a reaction to this uh, there there is a responsibility to this information not only in understanding it within yourself but in trying to relay it to other people there is a responsibility so that they fully understand what it is you know so that you don't mislead them in any sense of the word um, this is why I've been so careful in the way I've dealt with people and the way I've talked with the groups that have invited me to speak to them is that I truly believe we all have a responsibility to each other and this is something that's only been reinforced over the last 10 years of my life. But in, in all of this, I have to say that I, I'm respectful to this event having happened to me, in that it truly has given me um, an opportunity to experience something that I never thought I would could even imagine to begin to understand. It's given me insight to life, to what life really is and what the meaning is and potential is behind the human experience, the human life. And where that has taken me to understanding why um, we're being visited, why they are interacting with, with us the way they are, why they haven't made some more aggressive steps to uh, enlighten the entire population of the earth all at once. Some of these questions have been answered, not only by my own contact that continues, but also by the thousands of other people who have had contact that I continue to be in contact with and we share those ideas. Why do you think we're being limited to the knowledge concerning this truth? What 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 is your perception of that? Why they why they why do they try to blacklist this type of information? Why do they not continue to dig deeper into it? Why do they always stop at a certain point and just let it go and rest with Roswell? Well I think there's two issues here. One of them is that there's a human element set in place to basically create disinformation to keep the public away from some of these real facts. And I, I believe that at one time, possibly, this apparatus, some of these agencies, possibly had the right idea, but times have changed greatly. No longer are we going to panic and run through the streets and light our hair on fire when we learn that this is an absolute reality. More people know about this than, than I think people realize. I think the statistics is that eight out of every ten people interviewed in, within the United States and Europe fully believe that we are being visited and have had contact from extraterrestrial intelligent life. So I don't think we're panicking any longer. I think the few that run the disinformation campaigns for what I call the sub-governments of the world, trying to keep this information from the general public, the general knowledge, they have an agenda. Their agenda is to basically keep 
everyone fractured from information.